everyone, Aubrey here from the Roswell Museum and Art Center. It's pretty cold outside today, but we're staying here at the museum pretty warm in our brand new exhibition, Indigenous American Art from 1960 to 2000. So this is all going to be more contemporary art from Native American artists. Now the person who's mostly showcased behind me is a woman named Joan Quick to see Smith. There are these larger pieces with the gold frames. She's an artist who's um, part of the Salish Nation up in Washington State. And she has come up with this idea of the Survivor Series. So these are all lithographs based on the idea of how indigenous people have survived over the last five centuries. And so we've got different ideas here. This first one is gonna be about tribe and community. That's one way that people have survived over the centuries. The second piece is about nature and medicine. The third piece down here is humor, an often dark humor. A little bit of um, sarcasm goes a long way here. <laughs> and then this last one is going to be uh, wisdom and knowledge, also part of the survival series. Now her work is wonderful and I encourage you to certainly pick it out here. But I'm gonna come around real quick and we'll take a look at this other section here where we're featuring the work of Fritz Scholder who is a Luisenyun tribal member, which is part of Southern California. And his work is really interested in how Native American people have been depicted over the years and how they actually are in reality. So although it may seem a little uncomfortable to focus on maybe alcoholism in the na in tribal nations, it is certainly a problem. So he's had to address that head on by having a sort of ghostly apparition drinking this very detailed can of Coors here. But it's meant in a, in a loving tribute. It's not meant as a criticism, just to say, yes, we have issues with this. Yes, we're working on it. Another artist that we have featured here is R.C. Gorman. We've got dozens of prints of his, almost all of women in various poses. He's never had a lady duplicate a pose. And in fact, these sculptures in this case here are also pieces by R.C. Gorman. And you can see again, they're ladies in very different poses. The next section of the exhibition here is more artists from the New Mexico area. So we've got an artist here from the Hopi Nation, just kind of combining very early petroglyphs with a very abstract expressionist kind of background. We've got Frank Vigil, who's uh, part of the Hikarilla Apache Nation. And Pop Chali, who's from the Tewa Pueblo, one of the 19 Pueblos of uh, New Mexico. And her work actually inspired Walt Disney's Bambi. So I think that's pretty interesting. On this wall, we're featuring Pablita Velarde, who is from Santa Clara Pueblo, another one of the Pueblos from up north. She does these sort of interesting sand paintings. And we'll come around the corner here to take a look at another artist. This is Charles Lovato from Kiwa Pueblo. And he writes poems as well as is, is an artist. And sometimes the art inspires the poems and sometimes the poems inspire the art. This particular poem I really enjoy. We are the earth. We belong to her. We are her heart. I ride the earth for free. Now and then I say something good about her. It's the least I can do. It's a very charming poem that goes with that particular piece. And then we'll come over here last. We've got this piece by Oliver and Jody, who's a Mescalero Apache. This is the closest nation to us here in Roswell. And this is the latest piece in our exhibition from the year 2000. You can see it's got some abstracted sort of uh, imagery, but also some native imagery with the hand print and these kind of diamonds and triangles on the side. And last, we have this piece by Carl Gorman, who is actually the father of R.C. Gorman, both from the Navajo Nation. And Carl Gorman is also known as being one of the 29 Navajo code talkers during World War II, who was able to send messages during the war that the Japanese weren't able to translate because they didn't know Navajo. So I think this is a really exciting exhibition. You can come in and see what Native peoples have been doing over the last five decades or so. And uh, I hope you really enjoy it. I'll see you next time.